We are back at the Randall Shack, checking out some core here from Kitsalt, uh, August the something or other, 2025. So Randall, take us through what we're seeing here, please. Yeah, absolutely. So this is uh, towards the bottom of hole 343. Uh, and what we're seeing here is an andesite that's been strongly calc silicate altered. Uh, this is the alteration assemblage that's typical in a lot of the andesites down here. Uh, okay. And what we're seeing here is a shear zone. Uh, it's a structure that is known to host mineralization, especially here uh, at Gold Digger. Uh, and what we're finding right here is a large quartz vein, which doesn't have a lot of sulfide, but what it does have is a lot of bismuth, uh, which is a known carrier of gold in this system. Uh, and sure enough, if you look at those bismuth grains, they're intergrown with gold. Uh, and this whole structure... Uh, in not just the quartz vein, but in the alteration in the minor veinlets down here uh, are speckled with uh, intergrowths between gold and bismuth in the exact same style of mineralization that we find in hole 260, uh, which hosts our highest grade intercept on the property. Right. So is this the uh, third distinct rock package that we're finding uh, mineralization or VG, correct? Uh, yeah, it sure is. It's one of the different... Uh, forms that the gold comes in. We have multiple stages here. Mm -hmm. This is one of the earliest stages. It's the first stage of gold that comes in. Right. It's the hot stuff, uh, which is often overprinted by the cold stuff. This is the hot stuff. So this has got the double imprint deal? Yeah, this is going like to be... Yeah. Sorry, you did say that. Pardon me. Yeah, just how many like meters 260. have we got of this stuff? I mean, it seems like it goes on and on and on. Yeah, the alteration in the andesite goes all throughout it. It's going to have localized uh, lenses of this bismuth and gold stuff. Right. Uh, that'll come out in our assays. But one thing's for sure, this shear right here uh, hosts the vein and a particularly strong set of alteration. Um, and XRF analyses confirm all over this stuff, uh, very high grade uh, in there as well as... You can see it with your naked eyes. So That's VGNE. Yeah. Loving it. <laughs> Thank you. And so uh, tell what are we looking at here? Yeah, so right underneath that intercept we were just looking at that's loaded with the gold and the bismuth, uh, we have one of our tonalite dikes that we've had our eye on for so long. Uh, these dikes we know are the same age as the gold mineralization and they're thought to play a large part in the uh, fluid evolution of the system. So the fact that we have this large dike of the same character uh, as the others which are known to host gold so close to this very well mineralized intercept is a little suspicious. Uh, maybe not just a coincidence. Not a coincidence at all. So we still have this altered calc breccia here. Mm -hmm. Or, yeah, calc silicate altered breccia here as well. Yeah, absolutely. And that transitions into the tonal light dike. Yeah, we have the contact right in there, and the right. margin of it is strongly altered up throughout all of the yeah. andesites. So, how many meters of the andesite do we have that's got this nice greeny calc silicate kind of looking stuff? Uh, well, well, roughly. Yeah, I know you haven't log logged the entire hole here, but. Yeah, sure. So, right from above this tonal light, there's a package of andesite hosting. Uh, strong alteration uh, as well as uh, quartz veins with a distinct uh, separate stage of mineralization that goes up for at least 100 meters. Wow, 100 meters! <laughs> wow, okay, and possibly these veinlets here in the uh, tonalite dike might have bismuth and potentially gold, molly, that kind of thing. Yeah, uh, this dike is certainly altered, so it's showing, showing signs of fluid that has moved through it. Uh, and that is the alteration that you associate with the gold and bismuth mineralization. And the other dikes on the property is those calc silicates. So, yeah, it's all getting sampled. And uh, is this the most exciting hole you've seen thus far? Uh, this year, that's for sure. Yeah, I had to run around showing everybody. Uh, yeah, nice. I mean, this is going to be a really good intercept. Uh, assays pending, of course. Nice. Thank you.